One, you're one of the, the few and the proud to have been through last year and this season and, and feel like what that roller coaster was like. Um, how satisfying and gratifying was it to go through that process and, and end up in the Western Conference Finals with the Lakers? Oh man, this has been a journey, like you said, a lot of ups and downs. When I first came here, one thing was that there was no, there was not a lot of hope at all, you know, and that was something that I seen about the spirit of the team last year. Like we didn't have much hope. Then the beginning of this season, starting off two and 10, there wasn't much hope, but just being able to weather through the storm with my brothers was something that was um, really appreciated once we got to the play in and the second half of the season where we really made a good stretch and just to have that belief and have that feeling that, you know, we could win, we could do something special and have everybody buy in. There was a feeling that, you know, you really appreciate as a player. That's what everyone looks for when they say they want to play on a contender and play for play for something meaningful. And I think that I got that this year. And that was something that, you know, we, we hope to build on. When you what impressed you the most about Rui and Austin, how they played and how they improved? Um, it was just the way they were able to plug in and play. I mean, they were able to play along Braun and AD really well, but um, also they were there through the mud. They've been through a lot of <laughs> tough times as well. And to see how they grew throughout the season and, and adapted, and uh, it was something that you get a lot of joy from watching their success. It feels like it's your own success as well. So, um, you know, you, you get really close with these guys throughout the year. I mean, I spent a lot of time with Rui and a AR, so uh, those became really good friends of mine. And to see them do well, it was something that you know, was inspiring. What are your goals for this summer? What are you planning on doing to improve your game? Oh, to improve my game, for sure. I got a, a lot of strength building. I uh, got strength in my body, uh, you know, my lower body, my base and all that. And also improving my shooting, you know, free throw shooting, three point shooting. I have an ability to shoot. It's something that I got to uh, expand on that part of my game. When and you spent a lot of time looking for an NBA home. I think you ended up playing four times as many games for the Lakers than you have anywhere else. Yeah. How was the meeting with Robin Darvin, and what would you think about being back here again next year? Uh, I mean, the meeting was really encouraging. Uh, they gave me a, a real shot this year. It was something, like you said, I played a handful of games with different teams, but uh, this is the longest season I've had in the NBA in terms of uh, just games and minutes. And it was something that was able to show the world what I could do as a player. And I just think that the staff believes in me as well, the way how I believe in myself, and um, I'm going to have an opportunity to try to double down, triple down, or whatever I've already done here. And the meeting went really well with Rob and uh, Darvin, too. So, I mean, they believe in me. And uh, hopefully, you know, free agency is coming along. Uh, hopefully, I got garnered interest from other teams. Uh, we're going to work through that. But, you know, I really enjoy my time here. Hey, Wenyan, over here. Uh, you mentioned that you guys didn't feel a lot of hope at the beginning of the season, uh, but that all kind of flipped after the trade deadline. Why do you think you guys were able to come together so quick, um, chemistry-wise? Uh, I mean, they brought in a group of people that the, the, the energy kind of meshed as well. I mean, the skill sets aligned on the court, which, you know, the pieces made more sense over there, so that obviously helped us. But off the floor, I mean, we came a lot closer as a team. We, we hung out more. It was. I mean, I had some friends that came in, like even Vando, I already knew Vando, but like everyone, we were close in age as well too, and it was something where um, having that continuity off the court and on the court, it was, um, I don't know how it grew so fast as it did. It was kind of a surprise to all of us, but when you start winning games like that, we, we it was like momentum shift, and we kind of rode that wave right there. And then we really hit a point where we really believed in how good we could be. I mean, even Braun uh, would tell us in the locker room, like, you know, we have the makings of a, a championship contender team. And he said, I've been on a team, and I've seen it, and we got what it takes, and we all kind of believed when, when he was speaking there. And then us going out there, even when Braun wasn't playing, he was complimenting us. And um, he was even more so engaged on how we were as a team in that second half, more so than like he, like he was excited. You know, he was excited to come back. He was excited about what we had working on. And we all had that type of excitement. And we was working towards something. So that feeling right there is what we're looking for. Hey, when, you, when the Lakers picked you up uh, later in last season, you made kind of an impact on the way or right away on the court in terms of net rating, things like that, and then they chose to keep you this season. Just wondered where you noticed your game fit next to LeBron, next to AD, and kind of what are the things that you think you can still expand uh, to fit this particular group even better if you are uh, to come back again? Yeah, I know uh, when they first brought me over here, um, 
uh, I had you know other teams I was trying to get Ross's spot on you know Milwaukee and another team, but um, when the they told me they told they told me that I would have a chance to play right away, you know so I hopped on the plane and came here right away and it was one thing they didn't ask me to do anything different from what I already do it was about my energy, how I, how I hustle I rebound and how I can play along other stars as well and um, you know end to end speed going. Uh, just affecting the game in different ways helped bring in my energy was something that I could just plug in and play. But as the season went on, I was able to find more of my niche, how to fit in, build more chemistry within the pick and roll, and just learn how to play with LeBron and AD more. So it was something this year, just having more time is where I feel like I was able to expand on that. When in, we often ask players their plans for the summer in terms of what they want to work on on the court, but we know you have interests, specific interests in a humanitarian way off the court. Um, what are your plans this summer with that work? Um, and, and what are you looking forward to, to hopefully get done there? Yeah, um, I mean, first this summer, uh, like in the next week or so, I might be going to Guinea with my brother Hamadou Diallo. He's having a basketball camp over there. So I'm going to be a guest for his camp, uh, like how I had my camp last year. And um, um, right now there's a war in Sudan, so um, I'm not sure exactly on how when I'm going to do the camp or if I'm going to continue to do the camp in South Sudan, but I'm going to continue to build on my foundation and um, and learn stuff from my brother's camp that he's doing in Guinea and try to bring that over to South Sudan as well. Hey, uh, Wendy, along those lines, um, I know you, I'm sure you care about the work more than the recognition, but you were a finalist for the uh, League Citizenship Award, which recognizes community service. Yeah. Just wondering what that recognition means to you. Uh, it means a lot. I mean, it's something I've always been interested in and even me knowing that I came from somewhere else and just being grateful for being here in the U.S. is something that uh, just having that attitude of gratitude always makes me want to want to be able to give back. So being, being able to be a blessing is something that uh, it means a lot to me. And um, like you said, it's, it's never been about the recognition. It's always been about the impact. And uh, to be able to impact other people's lives and have you know younger people look up to me, you know, is a privilege. And, um, and I'm really honored for that. And hopefully, I can you know pay it forward to the next generation and help the next generation, help the next generation. And that's how we continue to you know, have purpose in this life we live in. So. When you just to follow up on that, I know Backstage Lakers did a piece uh, on you going back to uh, Sudan and, and kind of meeting you know, family members and going on down the lineage. And mm -hmm. now you, you just mentioned the war. It's, of course, been a very difficult period in the country. Like, how do you put all that into perspective and playing in the NBA and thinking about your family members? And how, how has that been for you? Oh, uh, man, when I first came back, I felt like I was traumatized again, you know, like seeing how the way the people are living over there, it's a whole different world. And like we live in here in LA, you know, we're in Hollywood, it's all the lights and cameras, but then you go over there, there's people that don't have running water or electricity that are literally your blood, you know, first cousins. And so like, it, it's tough. You gotta be able to car, car print whatever, compartmentalize or whatever you're saying, put this over there and kind of focus on what's going on at the time. Like, you know, if you can't pour from an empty cup, so you got to make sure you focus on what's in front of you and, and just be able to do what you can over there and, and not always be too stressed out, but um, always stay in touch. And that's something that even just like a few words here and there, or if you can help here and there, or help, help try to build something that's more long lasting and try to have an impact, that'll make you feel better about that because you can't save everybody at once. But to be able to have an impact over there is something that's uh, I feel like is important. And like, there's a me. I'm a refugee myself, so there's a bunch of us around the globe, and um, because of war, and us as a diaspora, we have an ability to to bring back the things we've learned, like everything I've learned here in the United States, and there's people in Australia and England where we could come back and we can start, you know, businesses here and that. We can help with the schools, hospitals, and just even showing up back up and bringing hope, bringing that type of energy to the country. We have a chance to build something and, and make it special. So my, my goal is to galvanize all of us, the people that do want to go back and help and just focus on the people who want to help. And we're going to go there and we're going to build and we're going to bring our country up.